these terms would be uh, all of you are from engineering background right? okay so i will lay more emphasis on technology or strategy for engineering firms which would be different from strategy for an fmcg firm or uh, something in uh, typically it is for large enterprises uh, in uh, trading enterprise the scope for strategy in corporate consulting firm even youngsters get an opportunity to handle strategy uh, the interesting thing about strategy is uh, today it's uh, quantitative you can put a model for strategy and uh, prove that uh, what you are suggesting to a firm uh, has <coughs> specific value uh, there are certain methods to approach that what we will do is uh, since it's the first session i'll give you an outline I'll give you one or two cases. I will explain so that you get a hang of what strategy means, and then we can go into detail areas over the next, uh, say, 15-20 hours for the next week, so that uh, you get a different idea rather than a mere textbook uh, discussion of strategy, which is uh, becomes a little dry. And as I said, it may not be possible to relate to strategy. The concept of strategy is significant now. strategy uh, can break up into market strategy or hr strategy or finance strategy so what that means and then there is something known as overall strategy a firm can look at uh, say next three i was strategy normally means we are talking of a longer term i think supposing uh, britannia makes a small difference in packaging or simple operational uh, tactics or requirements Uh, it would not be strategy a strategy is something which has uh, normally the difficult strategy is also something that even the finest managers have uh, commit mistakes the in business history you can look at the greatest uh, ceos have made uh, serious blunders on strategy now and and strategy is something that you cannot uh, you will realize the mistake Uh, when it is too late and you cannot correct uh, if operational errors efficiency uh, fall in efficiency can be corrected procedural lapses or procedural systemic errors etc can be corrected uh, on an ongoing basis on a daily basis the strategy is something that you are stuck with which is why study of strategy is more important and uh, it is possible today with uh, development in management science to uh improve the quality of decision making that is the job of consultants or that is the job of trained managers like you this is why we study strategy as i said uh, teaching strategy even in the top b schools in the world say at uh, pennsylvania or harvard it is taught to youngsters also now you are not in that category you have your experience guys uh, in spite of the fact that we uh, curriculum designers know that uh, they will not be practicing as i said only in consulting you get to practice but still it always makes sense to supposing you are at the junior or middle level you do get an idea you uh, suppose the ceo or the general manager lays down strategy you can relate better to that and implementation gets improved that's the idea or you prepare or if you happen to work for a smaller firm it is easier uh, so despite the uh, limitations which are characteristic of the subject strategy needs to be studied and strategy needs to be understood strategy is something like uh, <clears throat> let me give you some simple example supposing you are driving from mumbai to uh, you want to go to pune but uh, on on the highway there is a fork which uh, one road goes to goa now uh, this is a um, common place but then you so you you see the board and you decide and supposing the board is not right or there is no board and someone gives you a wrong direction or you assume something and take the road to goa instead of you want to go to pune do you take the road to goa and you don't know that you taken the road to goa till you reach goa when you reach goa it's too late 
too late in the sense uh, for that particular context it is you've lost valuable time you lost maybe 10 hours and then you go to uh, come back to pune by whatever means possible uh, that means in in to give you an analogy in the corporate a uh, lot of water would have flown under the uh, would have uh, under the bridge and uh, the damage would have been done that means in the case of a corporate we are talking of something like one year one and a half years would have been lost market share would have been lost uh, possible profits would have been lost market leadership may have been lost someone else may take an edge over you something like that uh, to start with a simple analogy uh it is about uh, visualizing the future it is not about astrology uh, that uh, someone tells you what we are in 2001 let's say you are uh, working for maruti so you are in 2001 you want to know what uh, how do we look at for the analysis you want to know where the world markets will be what is the automobile scene going to be what is the scene for automotive components going to be what is the current market share of uh, maruti what is the current market share of supposing the maruti share is 55% tata motors is 35% ford has 15% now you want to know uh, you cannot get exact specifics of what your competitors are doing are going to do and their decisions uh, depend on their perception you take a decision to counter that your competitor will take another decision so uh, you want to figure out you want to project there what we call as a prognosis in the sense that i want to know where i will be or where i can be or where i ought to be in 2014 or 15 and then having decided that what we talk at the textbook level of vision etc vision and vision excellence uh, general terms now i want to decide what where i will be as a leading my position today is i am a leading automo uh, automobile manufacturer where i should be where i can be where i ought to be and what do once i decide that i have to put in place as to what i should do what i should be doing in all the areas in marketing see uh, please note everything has a effect ultimately uh, my recruitment my uh, ability to raise finances my ability to design new models and launch them uh, each one would have a bearing now once we have understood an outline which is what we call as business policy and strategy which is overarching which includes all this then we go to dusra uh, dalo number 1 dalo koi baith sakta hai kya ek ek dalna hai chalo time hai ha time hai time dusra dalo number 2 yeah ye theek hai can you see this ya to ye light kam karna dikhai dega na Yeah, can you see this? No, not very important. Let's see. 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 ये लाइट निकाल दो अच्छा ये लिखना यू कैन यू सी दैट इट्स ओके और व्हाई डोंट यू कम देयर हम आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट टू व्हाट वी कॉल एज हाइपोथेसिस दैट मींस सपोजिंग द कार मार्केट इज 10000 क्रॉस आई हैव 6000 क्रॉस टुडे एज मारुति नाउ ultimately what happens in the future nobody knows except the almighty however good you are in analysis but then uh, also going by gut feel as the older uh, ceos used to do or uh, by managing the environment etc uh, in, in a competitive market in a free market uh, like uh, the us japan etc or even in india now it's uh, considered unwise to go uh, by hunch so the ceos need advice from uh, experts in strategy as to uh, to enable them to visualize if i want to do see reaching six if i am 6000 crores and the market goes from 10000 to 15000 uh, 
uh, on the same, the same proportion, uh, I would have to reach 9,000 crores. And maybe I would like to exceed 9,000 crores. Now, that is a tall order. It's a massive uh, gain, despite the fact that I have leadership, market leadership, I have strong brands, etc. So, uh, I have to first put in place that uh, idea, hypothesis, what we call as hypothesis. That means I visualize a situation where I see myself, I see myself. A lot of things can happen uh, today. Uh, in spite of the best plans, uh, technology may change. Uh, you can have, today you have petrol cars. In five years, you may have electric cars, in which case uh, the scenario may get drastically altered. All your plans, the finest uh, factory, Maruti may have the finest factory today. I'm just giving an extreme example. Electrical cars will not come in three years. All of us know that. But then uh, let me, for the discussion in the classroom, I'll give you an example. If something like that can, that means that what we call as a paradigm shift in uh, the market scenario. Sudden major change. So even if you have, supposing Maruti has an excellent plant, we produce one million cars. They're capable of producing, say, five million cars. Tata Motors may not have uh, that uh, ability. That does not mean you need to be complacent. There may be, there can be a completely small player who is strong in electrical uh, technology, which can make a major dent to the fortunes of a company like Maruti. This is a simple example. I'll give you several examples as we go along the way, and it is very likely in faster moving markets like uh, now. Uh, Change of models, we know what pace it takes, even in Japan and the US. In, it may take, in India, it may take five to eight years. So you can plan, you have the leisure, you have the luxury of planning accordingly. But something in, in, in an area like IT, it may not be that simple. More markets move very fast or something like, I'll give an extreme example, like in video games. Video games, large companies in like Nintendo, uh, Nintendo was a small uh, Sega or Nintendo uh, in the US. Uh, were very small companies once upon a time and the position uh, uh, could and did change in a matter of six months completely. The platform is different, software developers write games for that particular company and even an unknown entity, even a, it, it, there are known instances, I'll give you several of actual instances like a million dollar company can overtake a hundred million dollar company. This is not unheard of in lines like that, which is why, which is why uh, strategy is uh, extremely important and uh, what uh, that means you can prepare. Nobody, the finest experts on modeling will not give you a paka answer, but uh, it definitely improves the quality of the decision making. Ultimately, it's in spite of that, sometimes CEOs who understand the market best uh, overrule the model and take a decision he may be, but even if the CEO overrules your recommendation, he should know that he is overruling a received wisdom, meaning a model. That's how quality of decision is supposed to be improved. Uh, that means you take all possible precautions, all possible rational analysis and decide. That is the logic. Uh, these are some of the intent is uh, what is, you plan for it. Intent is what you need to do. Analysis of the environment is, uh, Futures thinking is what? Prognosis, evaluation analysis, types of strategy would be in details which we will come to subsequently. Number, Dusra Dalu. Uh, we talk one by one, uh, culture uh, which is going to impact. Uh, this is mission and vision. Uh, some of these are basic meant for uh, beginners, I am not going into that in your uh, case. Uh, beliefs, ideals, vision, uh, leadership, uh, etc. How it affects the uh, culture in the sense uh, that culture in Japan is different from culture in the US. Uh, Toyota operates in Japan, Toyota also operates in US. Toyota strategy in Japan has to be completely different from Toyota strategy in US because they need to succeed in both places, despite the fact that they have one of the finest uh, uh, automotive technologies and products possible, uh, with culture fit, if the culture is not addressed, a, even a good car will not get sold. It is just not that you have a good car or you sell it at the right price. You must appeal to the 
this will remain this is uh, each one gets this is about advertising uh, adaptability etc change management how to gear up your firm to uh, the changing marketplace or adapt to your corporate culture should be in aligned with the culture of the market or what the uh, that particular consumers in that particular market expect yeah next one uh, this is uh, uh, how this is details about uh, culture uh, and how the employees of the firm need to uh, down the line once this is visualized the uh, strategy is uh, communicated with uh, the workforce down the line a company like Infosys for instance has 100,000 people it's not enough that uh, the chairman has a very fine vision uh, it should be uh, able it should be possible to operationalize the strategy should be decided in such a way it should be possible to operationalize the strategy and what we call as a buy in the beautiful plan is uh, skill sets and competencies of the employees from their way they understand the market uh, at all levels. Buy-in means at least of uh, the should be convinced of the uh, rationale for that particular strategy and they should be able to which means which is only when they will give their best. You can have a brilliant software team of software developers without the uh, right strategy in the company or that particular division uh, like for instance uh, recently there was a major problem you must have read it in the press about Wipro uh, and the same similar problem Infosys is faced uh, two years back the head of the financial services division had some disagreements with the CEO on the strategy so he quit the company it can be that serious he quit the company he joined uh, Wipro uh, financial services is a high growth area financial services if it is growing at 40 percent be a company like Wipro or Infosys it does five billion dollars of business every year now if they grow at 20 percent also in most markets in the world it's considered great but if in India the growth is 40 percent and if you do 20 percent that means there's something wrong with your strategy you're not uh, at the uh, frontiers uh, there in terms of the product portfolio either in terms of to tap the market size of customers international uh, negotiation uh, relationships etc there is a problem in that particular case that gentleman went to Wipro uh, even at Wipro uh, he his view was that he did not receive backing but ultimately uh, considered one of the finest IT professionals he had to leave Wipro also not because he was not good but maybe he was a misfit in that organization or uh, the company could not was not able to operationalize his vision or he did not receive the backing from the chairman issues like that can come in this is uh, what we will see with simpler examples or uh, longer term or uh, one of the most uh, important uh, examples in business history over the last 20 30 years has been that of uh, microsoft and later that of apple so i will illustrate to you what the theory of strategy means and how a situation could have been uh, avoided that means major strategic blunders uh, mistakes made by management uh, next one uh, no this is not next one. Oh yeah next 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 
the example we will take later yeah next yeah strategic planning nahi pehle wala previous yeah futures uh, thinking yeah there is another set of uh, slides you will better understand i think before that uh, i will discuss uh, say the case of microsoft at uh, some length uh, let me go back briefly to the history of uh, microsoft uh, where uh, in the they about 30 years back in the 80s microsoft was a very small company today it's a giant today it does uh, i'll give you actual numbers and give you an idea of the importance of uh, strategy today it is uh, that was the era when personal computers were this is old history but uh, nevertheless good we'll let's spend about 10 minutes to understand what exactly strategy can make a difference to uh, ultimate market dominance today Uh, microsoft even not was not even 1 million dollar today it's about 100 billion dollars company uh, ibm was uh, the leader and that was the era of uh, main frames and maybe mini computers later our main frame uh, which is which utility is uh, restricted to certain only certain segments the the desktop uh, or ibm compatible pc as we call it as it is very popular now was the Uh, usage was uh, restricted and uh, i'm starting right with uh, uh, ms dos the operating system which uh, ownership bill gates acquired and which later got into windows now all this is uh, not necessarily uh, it but then i'm uh, looking at the implications of strategy uh, ibm was a giant even in those days and uh, over a period of 10 15 years uh, a, com uh, a company uh, it, it was uh, like this uh, microsoft uh, intel versus ibm you had various operating systems and uh, looking at the development of the us market then ibm decided ibm uh, designed uh, what came to be called as the ibm pc and ibm uh, had mm, this is uh, the design of the was uh, a patent that means ibm could produce that but then uh, then the market uh, was very small uh, later it uh, now you have uh, billions of uh, pcs in the us and all over the world which is the which is how uh, microsoft grew to where it is today the design was uh, proprietary that means the all this is important for strategy that's why i'm explaining to you all uh, the implications and because uh, the ibm knew it bill gates knew it andy grove knew it they knew it who uh, was uh, then set uh, setting up his uh, microprocessor company uh, this is in hindsight today we know that today even those guys but then they didn't know it. they didn't uh, at that time bill gates would didn't know that he would be such a big man after 30 years uh, probably or he did know which is why he is considered uh, one of the titans of the industry uh, some others did not so they even brilliant uh, software guys uh, were left uh, by the wayside the design was owned by uh, ibm but then usage was restricted now to increase the usage to increase the usage what ibm did was this is strategy ibm did was ibm said uh, we will allow anybody uh, in the us or outside to produce this the idea was the normally when you have a good product it is foolish to allow because then others would produce it and the profits would go to somebody else but then they thought the market is uh, too small the market has to be grown 
and once it is grown they thought that at that time itself ibm was about 100 200 times bigger than these companies so ibm it's a, it's a sense of complacency meaning ibm looked upon intel and microsoft today they are on par through their own part they looked at ibm looked at these as puny little farms who have no consequence to ibm was a giant in supercomputers and and then nobody visualized that all of the computing requirements of the world at large will be largely done by pcs uh, importance of mainframes and many computers came down drastically the cost came down drastically later this is later but that time nobody knew it so thinking that they would help develop the market it's like market leader taking the initiative supposing in the state of maharashtra the detergent uh, surf excel sells only 100 crores in the cities people know that a good detergent is a matter of hygiene but in the villages probably they don't know now nobody somebody has to develop the market the government is not going to do it for you uh if you are talking of a small like the case of nirma and uh, uh hindustan lever hindustan lever was way ahead of nirma in this normally it is done by whether it is in toothpaste or detergents or pcs the market leader normally what we call as grows the market supposing the market is 100 crores and the market there is a potential of going to 200 crores hindustan lever will take initiative to grow the whole market to 200 crores out of 100 if they have 60 out of 200 they should get 120 they hope to get maybe 140 because they are leaders but in the process when the market grows to 200 crores automatically smaller players also get a market share that means the advertising is done by brand building is done by the consumer usage is increased by hindustan lever but the benefit goes to competitors also this is inevitable because you are a leader this the companies know when they spend money but because they are large and the other companies are much small smaller ibm uh, hindustan lever sells 100 crores nirma used to sell 5 crores so hindustan lever would think that nirma is a puny little player it is not nothing to worry about uska chhota jo dhanda hota hai wo farak nahi padne wala hai hame that is the unspoken uh, belief now often times that is turned on its head this something like this exactly happened here ibm thought that let us say they were selling 10 million pcs ibm thought in us and outside in fact when the ibm first designed the pc they it is they did it more out of curiosity value they decided they felt and it was not considered wrong in those i ibm then even as of now they had some of the finest uh, management they thought that uh bulk of the computing in the world whether it is for space or technology or commercial etc would be done on supercomputers and many computers no, nobody visualized then that these the importance of supercomputers and uh, many computers large mainframes which used to cost 10 crores and require uh, 10000 square feet uh, would diminish drastically which is what happened later uh, and uh, all that requirement would be Uh, taken to all that processing capacity all that storage capacity would be taken to the desktop so it started as a curiosity value it started as a like supposing they had 10 products they saw a small player in us uh, which was trying to uh, uh, make pcs popular maybe this is something that bill gates saw that they didn't see which is why he is credited with that is what is known as uh, strategic uh, wisdom now maybe it's luck or maybe he really uh, thought that after 20 years there would be 500 million pcs and he wanted to position himself to be able to get a major part of that market and uh, obviously history shows that he has succeeded enormously now this is a simple a lot of uh, complex things happened during the way i am talking of a 15 20 year or longer time span but then i am analyzing it from the point of view of understanding what good strategy is about so ibm said we will design uh, uh, they designed the pc and they said they called it as a pc compatible that means you could have you had you, this is what actually happened they 
Korean, two, two, three large Korean companies, Russian companies, Japanese companies, Indian companies, all over the world, people started manufacturing uh, PCs on that design. IBM allowed it. IBM allowed it. If it is patented, either it should, could, no, legally they could have stopped or they could have asked for a royalty. But they thought the market will grow and we will get the market out of percent major share automatically. That's when the, they made a strategic blunder. Uh, world has recorded, the IBM themselves have acknowledged, it is one of the greatest strategic blunders in uh, probably in business history. Let's understand. So, the patent uh, with IBM, but it was an open platform as it is called. No Rand Baxi decide, designs, uh, develops, by they spend $2 billion and develop a molecule for anti-cancer. They will not let other manufacturers, it's a secret. Coke also. Coke has a uh, stupid product, just water and sugar, but then it's still protected by patent because of the uh, aura that people believe that Coke has a, something unique that other colas don't have. Uh, even today, Coke has a more brand leadership for that reason. So they decided it's an open platform strategy. It is unusual, but they decided that the market is, they thought that IBM was an elephant then. 100 million dollars is our business, PCs is 2 million dollars. Who, but give it now, do ka paanch hoga, paanch ka aath hoga, so tak nahi aega. That was the uh, unspoken. So they allowed it. But then Bill Gates saw this. Uh, the problem for IBM then, as it turned out, this design, see what, are, what is a PC? PC needs an operating system and PC needs a processor, two major components. Like what was known as MS-DOS, MS-DOS was purchased by Bill Gates from the original developer, he became the legal owner and they, he transformed that into Windows which is there on, on probably every desktop today despite the popularity of Apple or several other operating systems. All other, the overtook. Now major portion of any PC, a laptop or a desktop, etc., is an operating major inputs. Supposing a PC is sold for 25,000 rupees, major cost component or profit comes from two things. One is the operating system, one is the processor. Yeah? Uh, now, it so happened that at that time, uh, Bill Gates approached uh, IBM uh, formally uh, saying that uh, he wants MS-DOS. They settled upon MS-DOS. There were others. Maybe they were not right or uh, they, they had an agreement. In fact, they asked uh, Bill Gates to sell MS-DOS to them and he refused to. He uh, agreed to give it on, I mean he agreed to, uh, he managed to convince IBM that this IBM, supposing what actually happened was in over 10-15 years, uh, maybe 50 million dollars, 50 million PCs got sold in the US and outside the US maybe another uh, 200 million. What happened was, uh, suddenly, before IBM realized the damage, a huge market came into being and millions, hundreds of billions of uh, Microsoft business suddenly went up because every single PC that could be manufactured in the US and all over the world required uh, MS-DOS or Windows later. That is Microsoft. Uh, that means for every PC designed and sold by hundreds of leading manufacturers, Fujitsu and several other companies outside the US also, required a Microsoft operating system for which he got paid. It also required, that means that was the beginning, that was the genesis of the massive and explosive growth of <coughs> Microsoft and Intel. Both were. These are uh, well-known instances, maybe you must be familiar with this, but then I am talking of from the point of view of what a strategic error uh, 
in fact it became so popular at that time you may, may or may not be aware you'll be shocked to know that him was in financial great of course because of internet and middleware etc they changed the whole portfolio to 95 onwards now of course ibm is also doing exceedingly well for other reasons this is at the beginning a lot of things have happened in the it landscape but then i'm just giving you the earlier uh, story so um, microsoft which was a 1 million dollar company bill gates at that time had difficulty would have had difficulty in raising even 1 million dollars which is a small amount for a company of that size so also was intel and intel was in the same boat they there were other uh, microprocessors so it depends on what i'm trying to say it depends on how the ceo or the t key team this now it is not that microprocessors produced by some other, uh, companies were not good or not uh, up to the mark but then these people got trenched in the market that means a huge uh, sale of for microsoft which is the operating system and huge sales for worldwide all legal sales of processors and operating systems to cater to the which means what what are we seeing here literally uh, immensely profitable market was literally hijacked under the very nose of ibm market that ibm helped create market that ibm helped create was hijacked under their that means the dirty work was done by ibm and the profits went to microsoft and intel yeah you follow what uh, uh, what i'm saying <clears throat> in this is one of the uh, classic instances uh, of the and by the time i ibm realized as i said strategic mistakes even if you know that you made a mistake normally what what is human nature if you made a mistake you feel that you can correct it and nuksan to hoga lekin nuksan kam kaise hona but because of the momentum because of the these are all uh, legal i am glad legal you see later they could not say we will stop they would have looked foolish open platform they cannot say because it was uh, allowed uh, hindsight it says uh, you could uh, ibm could have made it restricted that means ibm could have said only we will manufacture that was legal it was possible once you do an open platform that's not possible uh, literally actual growth uh, was explosive it's not like any other and massive massive benefits came to uh, there was a time after this when bill gates and intel uh, even today they are almost uh, they are some of them are bigger than even ibm uh that is the basic uh, uh, stage this is that means uh, bill gates the best thing he did was he retained the ownership he did not uh, part with the, so also so you can see the danger of designing a product ibm themselves had operating systems of their own they could have designed a pc with something else which might have so i'm looking at uh, what might have been strategy is what might have been uh, learning strategies might have been or process so also process but because of the growth because of the strength in branding the like intel later uh, intel chips you know the history uh, how it is then that proliferated into uh, laptops and uh, various other devices uh, and the variants of uh, over a uh, period of 15 20 years Now the question is, could this have been avoided? If you are students of strategy, we need to look at uh, the meaning of this, and uh, could it have been avoided? Now, what do you think? Uh, now, since I have given you a brief idea, uh, I will ask you a few questions. I want to know, uh, as supposing you were uh, going to take these strategic decisions for either of the companies. could this have been uh, ibm massively lost market share for various reasons one is as i said the business was see obviously their idea was brilliant as it turned out the as later history shows the popularity and the use even today of pcs and desktops 
is so large that it was one of the greatest possibilities of uh, earning uh, profits for the company. But all that benefit, IBM uh, did sell. Later, of course, IBM got a major, but that was after the damage has been done. IBM uh, PCs are even uh, well-known products even today. Or IBM laptops for a long while before they sold it to Lenovo in China also was a very strong product. But that is subsequent correction. That means what I am trying to say is where IBM could have made 100 billion dollars over 10 years, they were left with probably 10 billion dollars. Not because they didn't have good product. See, this is the beauty. This is the complexity. This is the difficulty in uh, conceiving of uh, the right strategy. You may have the best management. You may have the finest brand. You may have the best design. You may have the best technology. You may have the market leadership. But if you make a strategic blunder, all that comes to naught. Sab aapka mehnat paani mein jayega. This is uh, the serious implication of why strategy is important. Of course, it may not be so uh, easy. Now, looking back 30 years, then the industry was in its nascent stages. Today, it is IT scene is far more complicated and no single company can dominate, whether it's Oracle, whether it is uh, Microsoft or whether it's in hardware or software, etc. But then, <clears throat> and uh, the approach has to be different now. If you are talking of something like uh, Nirma versus Hindustan Lever, uh, maybe it is simpler because it is a simpler product. Detergent is a simpler product. But these are clearly cases where, uh, like uh, the, we uh, call it as a David and uh, Goliath uh, strategy, meaning uh, in uh, Aesop fables, the stories that children are told, uh, how a giant was disabled by uh, six-year-old boy with uh, the rubber and the stone, I mean, meaning how a small player using wit and brains can overtake or uh, maybe weaken a uh, player. This is a simple analogy, but then a good strategy can enable, which is why in addition to all uh, good systems and products and brands, etc., you need to have the right strategy. So my question to you is, uh, Today is students of business history or strategy. But if IBM had, if you had an opportunity to turn back the clock, what could IBM have done to avoid this? Can you think of something? Can you think of, from a common sense point of view, not uh, uh, a long way to go, we have to study a lot. Yes, that's a fact. That's a fact. In but but in uh, mainframes, not in PC. PC itself was not a major industry then. IBM was already a giant worldwide. They were selling to a uh, lot of. Uh, they were getting huge orders from U.S. defense, private sector, all over the world. And they had their own OS. They had their own OS. Yes. They were using a different processor than uh, Intel. I mean, they they were They were so large they could have. Uh, bought any process in the world or they could have bought the company also. They was financially, they could have bought Microsoft and Intel. Okay. Of course, uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, that point is valid. Maybe small uh, here, uh, like uh, Microsoft came out what was then popular, what is very popular now, what is called as the graphical user interface. Uh, made, which makes it easy for uh, even a layman to, yeah, pardon me? No, no, it is not that simple. Uh, they tried. Bill Gates said no. You can't force somebody to sell. Bill Gates, uh, uh, obviously, uh, it's, uh, he has, IBM seniors have said so privately later. He has said so. Uh, Bill Gates generally believed in himself. He probably knew, which is why he is, uh, which must be credited with him, even if it is uh, luck, sometimes it is luck. He did not know, by luck he became a, now you can't say Narayan Murthy became a big guy by luck. There must be something in his, which is different from the others. That is the uh, logical assumption. Uh, he uh, 
has record. People believe him today. Even his opponents believe him. He felt uh, probably he foresaw, which is what is great about uh, great businessmen, and that means their their vision uh, comes out to be true. IBM was a large organization. Maybe it was bureaucratic. Maybe they had brilliant scientists, but they didn't have thinkers. They didn't have strategists. They could write beautiful code, but they didn't understand the complexities of the market, or they didn't understand where the market will be ten years from now. That is strategy. You can produce a beautiful piece of hardware, but then uh, people must buy it, or it must. You must meet with the customer expectations, or you must be able to. You don't know what direction the market is going. In fact, their mainframes even today are some of the finest in the world. There is no doubt about the technological leadership of IBM. But still, they uh, in fact IBM was IBM uh, share used to be hundred dollars. It came up to one dollar. This is not known today. IBM is very strong. That's a different matter. But that is for another cycle. That's another reason. Another part of uh, IT uh, evolution That's because of uh, internet and some other things that change. That there is a new CEO. But IBM was uh, very, very in serious trouble. Of course, it survived as a company for other reasons. Uh, buying is not always open. The owner can say no. You can't like even if a, a house legally, you cannot force. Supposing the rate here for a flat in Belapur is 10 lakhs, you you can't say I'll pay you 15 lakhs. It is the owner's decision for a good reason. Normally, people buy if you give him a much higher rate. Uh, maybe an ordinary, even a brilliant software programmer, not as great as Bill Gates, would have sold. Supposing uh, Bill Gates was a very small guy then, for a five million dollars. Suppose he was offered ten million dollars. It is huge uh, business for an individual. But maybe he visualized, which people believe he did, uh, that the market would see that growth, and he will sit on top of that, which is what happened. That is strategy. That is strategy. Yeah. Could be, could be. Or maybe open platform was a strategic error. Open platform itself was a strategic error. But the negative was, we look at all all angles. In, uh, in the current theory, in research, what we call as uh, a game theory. Game theory is maybe we will discuss it later. Game theory. This has been analyzed using game theory also. <coughs> game theory is about. Uh, I will not dwell it on today. Game theory is about. I do something in the market. Uh, to respond to that, the competitor will do something, maybe uh, which will help me or will create problems for me. Then I have to take a counter move. This goes on in the market. You know, sophisticated but this goes on. Now, my success or the degree of my success or failure would depend on how I respond to competitors' moves. That is what game theory analysis is about. Uh, we will uh, look at this case from that point of view also. That's a little technical later. But then, even from without game theory or advanced research modeling, etc. Yeah. Now, supposing you may say, like he said, open platform was a mistake. But then, you see, you have to think about conditions obtaining then, not from conditions obtaining today. Obviously, then nobody knew. Or people, even Bill Gates, uh, obviously, uh, ob must have had some doubts. Or he be he believed in himself, which is why he succeeded. And almost that's a different matter. But nobody knew that uh, uh, maybe uh, ten thousand pieces were being sold. It was exponential. That means uh, from 10,000, it is not didn't become 100 million. It became 50 billion or so. The requirement today over a period of 10, 15 years. Nobody have anticipated that the market would witness explosive growth within such a short period of time. And most important, whether that happens or not, the normally good strategy should be to ensure that you are in place. Supposing it grows, you you uh, visualize usage like iPhone usage. Uh, maybe only Steve Jobs visualized that it would be so popular. So he, even his board didn't agree. Steve Jobs, even his board of directors, who are some of the finest experts in management and technology, they uh, of the company. This is a fact. I mean, late acknowledge that we were idiots. Board of directors have publicly said we were idiots to actually fired uh, Steve Jobs. This was before uh, he was thrown out of his own company. This is possible in the U.S. It doesn't happen in India. The board of directors picked him as the CEO. He left the company and he formed a smaller company and developed. Another reason, the that board chain. The iPhone happened. 
last seven, nine years or so. Now, Steve Jobs is another very interesting case. Obviously, it's not only about, yeah, it's, it is, so uh, the, uh, like he said, supposing open platform, but then the um, analysts, even the uh, experts have later, post-mortem, it's post-mortem today. Post-mortem was also useful in management. Post-mortem cannot, uh, you cannot undo the damage. See, nobody can change the market today. Even if, uh, even Apple has found that because the uh, usage of, uh, which is uh, what we call it network externality, meaning the usage of Windows as an operating system is so deep rooted all over the world that even you have better technology because of familiarity, training, etc. Supposing there are uh, 20 pieces in this room, I am running an office, I want to buy the 21st. I, I am a businessman, I am not interested in hi-fi technologies, I want my work done. Now, I have my staff is all trained in Windows, so the next five I will buy Windows, even if uh, Apple Macintosh is the superior system, as a technologist I know Apple Macintosh, that is network externality. That means it is so ingrained now because of the nature of the product that even for the next 10 years, uh, maybe the, it is difficult to dislodge an entrenched competitor. But that was the time when <coughs> whole history could have been different if IBM had foreseen, uh, which is a strategic error, which is a strategic error. Like, but then the problem to answer his question, the problem is that uh, at that time it needed the, like I told you about Hindustan lever. Supposing in the, in Satara, Kolapur, etc., people don't know. A market leader, it's considered wise takes the trouble of developing, people don't know about, in villages, people don't know about uh, detergents. So first you have to tell them what are the benefits of using detergent, of hoping that once they learn, they will use detergent and they will buy your brand and then you can make some money. You have to develop the market. I mean, detergent is simple, but in PCs it was more complicated. If you... If, at that time, the uh, lay user, even in the United States and Europe, thought that programming was considered complex and the use of PC was considered, it's meant for, supposing you have 10,000 people in the office, only 500 understand IT, it's done in the mainframe. Now, it's not uh, as universal as it is today, where anybody, even a milkman can use because of the design of the system, embedded software or graphical user interface or touch screens, etc. Now, so then, IBM correctly took the step. Nobody, no small player, even Microsoft couldn't have done it. Even Microsoft did not have the financial muscle then, neither did Intel. But Intel had only processor. Only processor is of no use. I mean, you have to have a, the whole system to be useful for, somebody has to be willing to spend $100 to buy your desktop. And it must be useful to him, otherwise he will not buy it. That is where the money has to come from. Only operating system is also standalone, no use in the product. So the product came from the, the painful part for IBM is that they created the idea, but they lost all the benefit to somebody else, which is foolishness, which is strategic, literally strategic suicide. It was suicide. It's like so it's worse than a commercial suicide. They, if IBM, Microsoft was not in a position, no other company was in a position to do it. It's only that, uh, as we know now, Microsoft has a good operating system. It's only that Intel, as it turned out, had a good uh, processor. But many other companies had good processors. But Intel, because he positioned himself with Bill Gates as part of IBM PC compatible, he got enough money to develop it. Maybe somebody else given $500 million could also have developed a processor. That is strategic skill. It's not technological excellence. Supposing some other company had a brilliant scientist, a Nobel laureate, if he doesn't have money, he cannot develop it and sell it. That is why strategy is more important than technological excellence. Of course, there is a portion we call technology strategy, the, which, which is, comes into play here. So, maybe IBM was not wrong in, develop, in uh, conceiving of the open platform, because only the open platform guaranteed that the market became so huge. What they erred in was 
uh, they should have put in place some, we will discuss that also, they should have put in place some mechanism, that means it is like, uh, supposing you plant something and or you have a, a chicken which gives golden eggs, now the system was such that the golden eggs uh, start coming every day but it goes to somebody else, the benefit went to somebody else. Yes. But they never paid right to No. In fact, because it is open platform, it was legal. It was not a copying. IBM, see clone means it is illegal. Clone can be confiscated also. Compatible was not illegal. In fact, IBM then encouraged others. IBM asked Fujitsu. I mean, they made, they made it clear. They announced it. Fujitsu was a leading Japanese man. Many others like that. Russian, Korean. They said, please produce on our design. They thought that it, become, it would become an IBM brand. Or they thought, obviously wrongly in hindsight, they thought the market was $10 million, it will probably go to, they also did not envisage probably that explosive growth. They thought $10 million, $100 million, ho jayega. $100 million, $70 hamara hoga, dusre chote hoga, itna business hoga. But 100 ke jaga, it became 10, uh, maybe 10 billion, which was manifold. And uh, the benefit, and they thought maybe they could uh, do something else later. That is the problem with strategy. If you make a mistake, you cannot undo the damage. IBM tried its best, but they just couldn't do anything. Because it is like uh, unleashing the tiger. If when the tiger goes out of the cage, you cannot bring him back. Maybe you will hurt yourself. Yeah? You follow what I am saying? The metaphor in the, that sense. It is like that. The marketing energies were so huge and fortunately for Andy Grove, even Intel became a giant. Intel is a giant today. This was the push. It's like a push. See, analyzing now it is, but then thinking of all this is where the key strategic wisdom is. Maybe Andy Grove also had a foresight that if the market grew, analysts know this, the market will, but then probably they were, and they were, maybe they were to an extent lucky. They were positioned in such, that means all these companies, 100 million PCs, uh, I am simplifying a little, it happens over a period of time, 100 million PCs, suppose in US market over 1 million PCs, it grew to 100 million, all over the world, every country, 50 million, Europe 50 million, and all those PCs, every single PC required an operating system, and that was only Microsoft operating system, not any other operating system, because that was popular. And they, when the consumers start demanding, people will buy, uh, I mean, uh, Fujitsu will obviously place immediate orders with Microsoft or they have to pay their royalty or uh, because they are donors. Processors, every single, like instead of 10 million, it became probably 500 million or maybe 10 times that. Every single PC needed a Microsoft system and all over the world, not only in the US, the push was given by IBM. And worse, the benefit of all that went to somebody else. Yeah. They thought they could control the market. Yeah. They could control the market, which they went out of their control. Maybe they didn't sense it, or maybe they, since they were at that time. Uh, IBM was maybe 100 or even 10,000 times bigger than Microsoft. Literally, Microsoft, yeah? No, it is not so simple. Complacency, yeah, we could say complacency, but they had one. They had one with the GUI, they thought this is better. This is better. Yes, you have to, you have to. That's the most important. No, maybe, no, they they did, the very idea was to increase the market, but probably they didn't see that it would be so big. And there is another problem then that hinder uh, maybe clearer thinking on IBM. IBM never thought, and maybe most people never thought, except probably Bill Gates and Andy Grove, that the uh, one is explosive growth, and explo the, the IBM never thought. IBM's 90% of revenue came from mainframes. They, they never thought that will change. 
they the they did thought maybe not only complacency even as technologically they thought that the microsoft uh, this open platform with microsoft operating system or uh, intel chip etc is a beautiful uh, uh, instrument to have but it will be 10% of the whole market that was their belief which led to the complacency yeah, it will never become so powerful yes which will uh, displace mini computers and mainframes accepting large applications like Yeah. 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 Yeah.